18 sentence beginnings, and for each one of them, we have four ways of ending that sentence. And your task is to rate the sentence endings with a four, three, two, and one. A four is the ending that is most like you, a one is the ending that is least like you, and then you have to figure out where the two and three fall. You cannot put four, four, three, three. You have to make the choice four, three, two, one. Okay? So that is your task.
groups. I've tried to spend some time today telling you that this is a learning cycle. Right? Did we get that part? This is a learning cycle? Now what we're going to do the rest of the day, we're going to divide into four parts. We're going to become competitive. We're going to figure out which is the best learning style. And it's not going to feel like a cycle. No, we're not actually going to do And as we divide up into groups, I don't want us to lose that notion that this is actually a cycle. You are not a fixed learning style. Your, your group represents your preference in the learning cycle. So to get the notion of preference down, <coughs> most of us have a preference for whether we write with our right hand or left hand. So I would like for you to, on a piece of paper, actually do this. I would like for you to write your name and address, and you have to spell Albuquerque, Bernalillo, wherever. And I want you to write it with your non-preferred hand. So we get a lot of this. So that happens. 
So we really have to keep in mind this notion that these are preferences and not abilities. We're going to get into our groups. And so we're going to think in our groups about our style. So I <laughs> Of her connection to people. When we begin learning, 
This is exactly what we want. We want an environment that's fun, that's relevant. We want a teacher that's committed. And we want, we want that person who can talk to us about their experiences and make a connection to us. The type twos, we talked about how they perceive and process. McCarthy calls them analytical. They're the people who process information. They're evaluative. They're, they are really outstanding critical thinkers. They like theories and models. They like to learn from experts. I was joking with them over in the group. When they go to a class, they like to know that their teacher knows their stuff. Not in that elitist way, but they want to know that they are learning from experts. Type twos are the students who often admire the expertise in their teacher, and they want that for themselves. And so that ability to, the ability for the teacher to maintain a high expectation, not too high, not too low, but maintain, um, in educational theory, we call it scaffolding, that the student is here and the teacher is always a little bit above the student pulling them up, and the learning goes up this way. And twos are the ones who really, really, really benefit from that. That type two learning, it, that's what they want in a teacher. Not somebody who's way up here so that the gap's too wide, and not somebody who's down here or over here, but somebody who just pulls them up. They see expert information, the favorite, their favorite question is what? In the library, the librarians will tell you, type two learners are the ones that don't just use Wikipedia for everything. They actually want to know what's the best resource for this. Where do I really get the best information? Um, the threes perceive and process. We saw that on the cycle. We call them the common sense learners. They're the ones in class who are sitting around going, when are we going to do anything with this? <laughs> when am I going to use this? How am I going to use this? <laughs> They're kind of looking at you guys over here like when we think about the cycle. Okay, it's nice that you're passionate and you're caring and you want to create your career. <laughs> and it's very nice that you're knowledgeable and you have information and you give it to us. But when am I going to do something with it? When am I going to be able to use this information? They like to apply information. The information is really not knowledge to them until it gets applied. They like classes that have hands-on opportunities in real life learning. They're decision makers. They really focus on getting it done. And I don't know about the CAPS work environment enough anymore. But type threes, like if it's at the end of the day and everybody's like, okay, let's get out of here, what do we have to do, blah, blah, blah. The threes are the ones that are like, okay, get this done, get this done, get this, get this, do this, do that. And there aren't very many of them over there, but you may be able to look at them and see some of that um, when you're at CAPS. They're seeking usability and the question that they ask is how. How am I going to use this? How does this work? I'm sorry. Okay, the fours are called dynamic learners because there's a synergy. One, two, three, four. It's the end of the cycle. So there's, there's some energy that's going around. And what this says is type fours are risk takers. They create change. They're enthusiastic. They don't mind trial and error. That's also true for the threes. If they try something and it doesn't work, that's okay. They'll just that just informs their next trying. They like flexibility. They like to demonstrate their learning. And what the type fours seek are possibilities. And the questions the type fours ask are what if. And you know those people if you've ever worked on a group assignment and you almost have it done. <laughs> and the type fours, the type fours go, well, what if we did this? <laughs> And everybody else is like, oh no, please. They could be. They have fours want someone intelligent and knowledgeable because they want 
want to be them. They want somebody who inspires them. And they want someone who's challenging, inspiring, a clear, concise communicator, someone who's flexible because we're always asking for exceptions. The type threes are the ones in class who ask the teacher, instead of doing a paper, can I do a presentation? Instead of doing a teamwork, can I do this on my own? Or, instead of doing this on my own, can I do this with a partner? You know, they are, they're the ones that are asking for it to be different. So you can see some connection between the type 1s and the type 4 teachers. That's because this is a cycle. When you finish with this, you go back over to cycle 1 and you start over again. Your homework is to notice the learning cycle in yourself. Your homework is to notice your preference and to notice the preference 